How to massively improve your Minecraft experience with a couple simple steps and completely transform your game from looking like this, boring path blocks, boring clouds, a very boring sun, boring looking mobs, boring villagers, and turn it into something that looks like this. An amazing looking sky, an amazing looking sun, adorable mobs with adorable animations, like my puppy over here wiggling its tail, beautiful shadows, and unfortunately you can't really fix villagers. They're still going to be just as annoying as they previously were. So the first thing you want to do is completely close your game and your launcher. And then the second thing you want to do is click on that subscribe button. And then you want to open the Fabric Loader website and the Iris website. You can find all of the necessary installations in the description below. And I'm going to be going through them in the exact same order as they are listed in the description. Once you're on the Fabric website, click on the big download button. And then you want to click download Universal Jar. I recommend that you save everything on your desktop or in a folder in your desktop desktop like so. Then we're going to be doing the same for Iris. Click on download now and you're going to click on download universal jar once again. Once you have them on your desktop click on the fabric installer and then from here select the version that you want to install fabric for. I'm going to be doing it on 1.20.1 so that's what we're going to install like so. Next up is the Iris installer. You're going to want to make sure to select the fabric installation type and of course the correct version. And once you're done with that, you can open your Minecraft launcher, go to installations and make sure that you have the fabric loader 1.20.1 or the version that you selected. Next up, we're going to be downloading all the necessary mods that we're going to need in order. So first up, you have the Fabric API. You can download all of these either from CurseForge or from ModRent. To download them from CurseForge, you need to click on Files and then select the correct version. And for ModRent, you want to go to Versions, select Fabric, and you want to select your version. In our case, 1.20.1. And we're going to save it to our desktop. And we're going to be doing the exact same thing for the rest of the mods. Here we have Sodium, Sodium Extra, Sodium Shadowy Path Blocks, Reese's Sodium Options, Indium, Lithium, Ferret Core, Logical Zoom, Entity Model Features, Entity Texture Features, Memory Leak Fix, Continuity, Lamb Dynamic Lights, Mod Menu, and Entity Culling. You're going to want to separate your previously installed fabric installer and iris installer like so and then open the search box type in percentage app data percentage next up you're going to go to dot minecraft and then you're going to look for the mods folder this is how it should look like if you already installed fabric and iris select all of the mods that we just installed and drag all of them to your mods folder Next up, you're going to go to your Minecraft launcher and make sure your game works. If you get this warning message, you can just stick this. I understand the risks. Don't warn me again about this installation and click play. And if your game does not launch and you get this message, incompatible mods found. What this means is that some of the mods that you've downloaded are incompatible with other mods or are not the correct version. And all of this text is giving you possible solutions solutions in order to make your game run once again. In our case, we have to replace the mod Sodium with version 0.5.8 or 0.5.9 that is compatible with Indium, and so on and so on and so on. So by following the text in the error log, we're going to go through all of the mods that were listed as incompatible, and we're going to go through the versions of all of those mods and make sure we install the correct version that's compatible with everything that we're using and once we have done all of that our minecraft should launch without any issue and you're going to have an extra setting in your main menu mods you can click on that and take a look at every single mod that we just installed and you get a simple description of what exactly that mod does and what it's used for so you're going to want to close your game once again and you're going to want to close your launcher
we're going to be talking about vanilla tweaks and fresh animations. We're going to start with vanilla tweaks. Make sure you select the correct version that you're playing on. These are basically resource packs that improve your game in one way or another. You can turn your golden helmet into a crown. You can change the style of your elytra. You can take a look at all of these and choose what you would like to add to your game. And here on the right, it's basically going to create a resource pack with every single thing that you select. And once you're done with your selection, you press download and it creates a resource pack that contains all of your selections. Moving on to fresh animations. This gives life to your game in a very vanilla style like no water mod or resource pack I I've ever seen before this. It's truly an amazing resource pack. After you've downloaded both of these, you want to open your Windows search once again and type percentage app data percentage dot Minecraft and look for your resource packs folder. You then drag these here and you launch your game. Go into options resource packs and here you're going to want to make sure that you select default connected textures glass paint culling fix, fresh animations, and vanilla tweaks. And after that, press done and hop into your game. And as we can see, the game already looks better with the choices that we made. Our leaves are bushier, the sun is circular, and my favorite part is the mobs have animations. Hello! And the cherry on top would be, of course, shaders. They make the game even more realistic. Just look at that. For shaders, you can go to mod rent and search for whatever you like. You can either have an insanely realistic looking shader or you can have something simpler. That will really depend on how powerful your computer is. Let's select vanilla plus shader. We're going to want to make sure that it supports our version and that it supports iris. Once you have downloaded the vanilla plus shaders, head into percentage app data percentage once again, dot minecraft and find the shader packs folder. Folder. Then drag it in and once you're inside your game you want to go to options, video settings and over here at the top click shader packs. Then select the shaders that you want to play with and make sure that this here says enabled. Click apply and your shaders should be ready to go. And just look at the atmosphere that we just created. We have a mixture of all of the mods that we installed and the resource packs and the shaders and the game just looks amazing. And one final thing. If you're experiencing lag, I recommend turning off shaders. Unfortunately, shaders can be really heavy on your computer. And if you're still experiencing a ton of lag, another recommendation I have is turn off the fresh animations. And that is basically it. I really hope this video helped you out. And if it did, subscribe, drop a like, and drop a comment down below. Let me know what you think. Let me know if you have any issues with any of the mods. I'll make sure to help you out. And of course, make sure that you also show your support to all of the creators of these mods, resource packs, and shaders. Because without them, Minecraft would not be as amazing as it can be. So thank you so much for watching, gamers. And I will see you in the next video.